February 19th, army camp near vos couleurs. This morning I awoke to visions of fire and steel. These nightmares come more often, now that I've seen my beloved France eaten away by years of war. I wandered through camp, ignoring the new snowfall, but observing the wounds and weariness of every soldier under my command. Observing the desperation in their eyes. It was then that I first saw the girl. She told us that her name was Joan. She told us she was but a peasant who did not know how to ride or fight. She told us that she intended to rescue France. The darkness lifted from the men's souls. Her voice rang with conviction, and we drank in her every word. I may have lost my faith, but Joan has not lost hers, and that is enough for me. Joan has asked our ragged band of soldiers to take her to Chinon, where the rightful ruler of France, the Dauphin, hides from his foes. The war-torn land in between is infested with enemy marauders, and we will lose many men. Death is by now an old companion, but for Joan, we will face it again. Bonjour, Joan. My colleague and I will escort you to the Chateau of the Dauphin, or else we will die trying. I am Jean de Metz, and I will protect you with my life. You are Joan of Arc. I have heard your claims and believe what you say. We will follow you to Chinon. Wait! You might have need of a few archers on the road ahead. We must be wary on the road ahead. Our enemies, the English, are out in force, and their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. This question is the better part of valor. Another glorious loss for France. I hope you really can turn the tide of this war, Joan of Arc. Pirax. Oil. Libé. Cert. Oil. Cert. Pirax. Libé. Oil. The bridge is out. The English must have destroyed it. We must find another way to Chinon. Oh, 
highwaymen playing on helpless travelers? What has become of our homeland? Burgundian encampment. We'll never get through that hole without siege equipment. We need a manganel or ram to get through these walls. Okay, Lipe. Are you mad? Across that bridge lies a Burgundian castle and many men. Turn back at once. Gather your belongings, men. We follow Joan of Arc. We will carry that ram along with us. It may yet be of use. Libé. Oyel. Certes, Oyel. Que fait Certes. Pirax. Que fait Libé. Yeah. 
stupid. You French don't know when to give up. Okay. Oil. Oui, certes. Okay, Pirax. Lipe. Kaya à la bataille. Prêt, Pirax. Je fais. Assault. Prêt, certes. Qu'est-ce okay, fait, Pirax? Ok. Prêt. There are Burgundian soldiers everywhere. Hurry west to the river where we can make our escape. Prêt. Okay, move it. You mean to lead the French army? Such confidants I have not seen since this war began. Very well. You have six more soldiers. Jean the Met. Libé. Certes. Que fait-il? Libé.
Prêt. Prêt. Oil. Libé. Que y a Serge. Bonne joie. Que fait Oil. Que y a Libé. Prêt. Que y Que y a Prêt. Que fait Oui. Prêt. Que rax Que y Certes. Que fait Prêt. Oui. Oil. Que fait Oil. Que y Certes. Prêt. Prêt. Oui. Que fait Que y a Que y Que fait Oui. Que rax Que y a Prêt. Libé. Que fait, certes. Que fait, oil. Prêt, oil. Oh yeah. Que rax. Shenon, we have made it. Prêt. Certes. Prêt. Certes. Okay. Libé. Oil. Que fait? Oil. Oui, Rax. of the Dauphin. The Dauphin will see you now. As Joan's footsteps echoed down the marble hall of the Chateau, the fat and whispering dukes did naught but stare. The Dauphin himself seemed afraid as she kissed his feet. My gentle Dauphin, she demanded. Why does England claim what is ours? Why are you not crowned King of France as is your right? The courtiers began to murmur. The Chamberlain whispered lies into the Dauphin's ear. But the Dauphin pushed the Chamberlain away and rose to meet Joan's gaze. She stands only to the shoulder of the shortest man, but all of us must look up to speak to her. I know not what silent conversation passed between the Dauphin and his would-be savior, but it was obvious that his majesty was in the same throne as we. 